Hi guys. Oh boy. <laughs> now this is a first. Okay. So I literally just wrapped up a video. Well, first of all, I was sitting down to literally just do my daily story reading for Instagram. And then my guides were like, no, we got to open this up to a video. So I just shot a video literally talking about, um, the archangels coming in divine intervention to say don't let this person go you know this looks like this is a connection that is going to end and like it's dead in the water but it is not do not let them go and um hang in there and work on yourself i i i i, I literally just shot that video I, I mean it's literally in my phone less than a minute ago and and then they i haven't even uploaded it yet anyway so my guides brought me to this part two. <laughs> okay, So strange, but part two, part two is looking like the rationale for that last video. So if that last video resonated with you, this is most likely the energies that you're in or the energies that you're about to get into, which would lead to the divine intervention that the guides just did. All right, let's look at it wow first of all in the last video they came through with these medical energies in other words the arch um, archangel raphael and archangel metatron came through with medical energies or divine intervention here's what they're saying they're saying that the connection that you have in mind is your person and it's going to happen look already the queen of swords is out there look at that okay we got to get into this all right so i'm going to try and keep this short because this is actually um pretty straightforward and it's reading right to left now if this reading is for you you are definitely in queen of swords mode you are most likely a female you don't have to be but this energy is very strong remember the queen of swords is that one queen that will teach you about your anatomy using her sword okay so in other words this is somebody who is all logic cold cuts things out this is the person that will you know burn every piece of evidence of you if you are done and <laughs> right but what i'm getting here is the seven of swords is coming after that this is this is going to be about deceptive energies so what they're saying is dear queen of swords you want to cut this person out here he is king of cups whoever this guy is or whoever this other person is you want to cut this person out but we're going to stop you there because you're just lying to yourself you actually do not want to cut this person out you actually love this person this king of cups now remember i do want to point it out to you guys that in the last reading and here are the cards that i literally just did you came through miss queen of swords you came through as the queen of cups that is a vibrational match to this king of cups who you would like to now rearrange his jugular right so they're saying yeah you're just lying to yourself and saying that you want to get rid of this this person the truth is you don't want to get rid of this person and if you end up giving into your devil side giving into your shadow energies yourself lying and blah 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 you are going to walk away from this person so this is coming through as a warning for somebody I know at least one person, okay? You know who you are, um, MG, initials. <laughs> initials, <laughs> got her. <laughs> All right, so, but I'm willing to bet that this is for a lot of people. I wouldn't be surprised if someone emailed me and said, this is me, okay? So you're definitely gearing up to walk away from this person that spirit is divinely intervening to say hey wait a minute slow your roll this person is actually your person now let's take a look at this king of cups this king of cups is coming through as the king of pentacles look at all these kings nine of cups this is telling me that whoever this person is whatever is going on whether they told you they weren't interested or whether they're like i have to finish something up first or just whatever the thing is this is somebody who is following um their wishes this is their nine of cups so this is the person who's doing something in their best interest all right so notice how here 
this person is coming across as a villain because we're in the perspective of the Queen of Swords. However, in the reading, this person's coming up as the King of Cups. This is the lover. This is the match to your person. And here, this person is coming up as the King of, of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is somebody who is, who is just perfect for a relationship because he actually gives to it. He makes the effort. And I know a lot of you guys are like, no, but he's not doing anything. And you're right. According to the video I just wrote, you're right. This person is not doing anything right now because they are focused on a third party energy. Again, as I mentioned in the last video, the third party energy may not even be a person. A third party energy just means the introduction of a third energy into this connection. There's your energy, this person's energy, and then a third energy. But what is the third energy? Could it be an addiction? Could it be a job opportunity? Could it be um, a another person? Could it be a family that they're still trying to focus on? Could it be a thesis they're trying to finish? What is the third energy? In the last video, um, for some of you guys, the third energy was actually not another person at all. It was actually their desire to just be unattached. Maybe they like going to bed late. Maybe they like not having to account to anybody for where they're going maybe they just like being silent throughout the day whatever it is maybe they just enjoy their own company right now there may not even be anybody else or anything else in particular maybe they just want to stay home and watch matlock all night right look don't knock matlock okay he, he's he's cool he's cool peeps so my point is this definitely is a first time for me. I've never had to shoot two emer or an emergency reading. <laughs> I've never had to shoot an emergency reading before and definitely not broken up into two. So long story short, if you this is part two. If you haven't checked out part one, please go ahead and check it out now. The summary for part one is, hey, Hang in there, focus on you, work on your inner wounds, work on your inner child because this relationship is assured. Look, the energies are turning. So some of you have made a decision based on watching this video now because the energies just moved and now she's coming up into the Queen of Swords energy. Let's go ahead and see what's on this Queen of Swords mind. And you know what? A lot of us, our guides have been teaching us to move on. Look, if, if someone says they're not interested, you've got to move on, right? So, yeah, look, see? Into me, I see. You're going to have to go inward on this. Focus on you. There's the eight. Walking away energies. So spirit is, is kind of kind. They're trying to capture you. And this is unprecedented because, again, usually the guides are like, no, this person is not interested. You have to move on. Um, do not keep focusing on this person. Focus on you and open up to other energies because there are other people who are interested, blah, blah, blah. But in this case, I'm just not getting that. I'm getting that you should stay involved, all right? See, into me I see the royal you. Spirit is asking you to focus on you, okay? Yeah, look at this. For right now, look at this great big love in reverse. This card is coming through because this person is a great big love. But why is it coming out in reverse? This is showing your this is showing your energy about this connection. But based on my energies as a reader, and gee, it's not like I get paid to do this, right? <laughs> right? But based on my humble view, this is a great big love. And if you walk away from this, then I do feel that you are going to be in this devil energy and this seven of swords self-deception energy so as spirit says focus on you so that you can um, go through the temperance and the medical energies that spirit wants to bring in at the end of the last reading um, after i said hey if you want to have a reading with me blah 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 i was going to close the video off but they actually kept me on a little further to tell me to tell you <laughs> to tell me to tell you that um, the reason why they're bringing this in is because there is an event that may have already happened this looks like it has already happened maybe the person said they weren't interested maybe that you found out something about the other person maybe something I have no idea whatever that situation is or the event is going to be happening and um, it's going to cause you to get into this Queen of Swords energy and want to move on and 
you know, find somebody new, just whatever. For some of you, maybe burn down something, you know, please don't, <laughs> right? And spirit is coming in to say, hey, don't do that. And so if you resonate with this video, then please also watch the other video. Okay, but this is going to be part two. All right, God bless you guys. Again, if you'd like a personal reading with me, um, you can easily find my link to my Etsy page. Yay! Um, check out my link tree uh, link in the bio section of Instagram. And if you're watching on YouTube, go ahead and check the description box below. In both cases, you'll find a link somewhere to my Etsy shop. All right, thank you so much, guys. Bye.